Hello everybody, this is Lisa Joya. I am here today to talk to you about a second life. Well, actually, it's not just for second life. This is an an, adjust, uh, an animator. If you want to start making animations for second life, for in-worlds, um, for any other uh, 3D, um, th uh, 3D avatar, 3D um, scroller type of program. We move inside the world or inside the actual uh, uh, game itself. This is a program I have been using for the past, um, I don't know, many years. Uh, this is how it works. Okay. Each one of these bars down here, if you look down here to the bottom, it's kind of like a playlist for every part of the avatar itself. All the bones you see here. Look at the avatar. Look where my where my uh, pointer is at. Every single one of these are the exact bones. Kind of like new rig match you have bones be spec uh, specified in certain spots. However, you can go in and use your control and alt, and you can rotate the avatar, including the avatar's body. You can right click and it will highlight red and you can move and bend as such or you can manually input these numbers over here on the side here it says animation is untitled the figure is going to be a female you can adjust the size to being a child size or even a even smaller than that for one of those little mini fairy avatars I'm gonna go back to 100 percent. I will try to 150. This if you have a gigantor of a person here. Let's go back default 100. You can use your mouse to zoom in and zoom out if you have a scroller. You can use Control and Alt to zoom in and out. You can use Control and Shift to click on a specific section of the avatar and move it freelance. So what you do is that you do control and shift and move your mouse around and you'll be able to do this. And if you notice my XYZ rotation, it's on the abdomen. We're gonna make a funny one because this is just a basic tutorial or a basic know-how, okay? And see how we're on the first phase of this of this uh, animation here. Right now we just move the abdomen and, and nothing else. So down here, you're on frame two of thirty, and the frames per second is thirty, which is the default. It's usually between twenty six and thirty, but you want a little bit more because you want to be able to make it more fluid like. I'm gonna go ahead and and not click on any of these. I'm going to go ahead and do edit part. Go click hip. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the whole rotation thing. And then I'm going to do the control shift thing and freelance this. Alright, control shift moves, your, moves the avatar as such. Now we're just having fun now. So let's go to chest. Let's rotate this up. Make it look like we're flying. And then do the next one. Like, 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 and then we're going to do the head. But well, we're not going to kill like it look too retarded. Okay. Now, to just look at this, you can use your control and alt. Click your left button on your mouse and move around. You can use your mouse to move forward and back to see your avatar. How it is. In first frame, mind you. And you can move and see how contorted this animation is going to end up looking. So when you first start out, you're going to start out in a standing position in a T pose, as if you were on a uh, pose stand to change your avatar's clothing. Or in the Firestorm viewer, you have a default pose stand inside your options. All right, now we have this. Kind of like this, but I don't want the arms to be like this. So here you have left collar, shoulder, left forearm left hand, L is for left, and R is for right, and it will let you know each one. But here, I'm going to go ahead and cheat. I'm going to move 
this, use control and the shift to move it as I see fit. Then I'm going to go ahead and click on shoulder again. This is the shoulder where I have here. Control and shift. You can free, free move it. Otherwise you're going to be stuck moving all that stuff. Okay, I'm going to click this again. I don't like this there. I kind of want it to be kind of silly just for the sake of this, this tutorial. I'm going to do the uh, right forearm and I'm going to go woo. Then I'm going to click on the left forearm, do control and shift and move. And I'm going to use control and alt just to cam around. All right, now every time you change something and you're still on the first frame, you'll be right here on this first frame. Actually, technically it's the second frame. The very beginning, it's the first frame. And this is the last frame, which is the 30th, okay? Now, I'm going to gimmick this here to here. There's a copy. And how I did that was I clicked on the sections here and I had used control and I dragged. Contro click on the actual thing right here and click and shift. Not really shift, but more like just control and then drag with your mouse. Here again, click on it so it's highlighted white and then drag and keep repeating until all the parts are aligned with each other and I missed one I missed the chest so all right now whoops I even missed the right forearm so now let's say for example you want to change this a, a bit and you want to go here to this face let's move the arm use control and shift. I'm going to move the body to look like this and I'm going to move around so you can actually see and move around to so use control shift. I'm going to make it look all funny. I'm going to click on the head use control and shift and I'm going to move the head so it look like this. I'm going to click on the chest which is the middle bone here and I'm going to move like so. Now I'm going to make the legs look funny, just for the sake of it. I'm going to click on the other leg and make it look funny too. And I'm turning this around. I don't like the shoulder, so I'll click the shoulder, sh click shift and control. And this is what this looks like. Now I want to keep, I'm going to go ahead and just use the control and I'm going to repeat it here so it's more fluid, more movement. Control and then drag. Control and drag. And I missed one again. Control and drag. What I also want to do is I also want to I'm going to make it look all funky on purpose just for the sake and now you can go ahead and click file and then save when you are in um, when you are saving your files for in queue animator and you have to upload for second life first save it as a dot avm or dot bvh okay but I'm gonna stick call it um, silly pose for second life tutorial okay now I'm going to minimize this but in order for you to get this into second life and I'm going to a layer hold on a second file save as okay where is my path ah program files okay so we'll go to my start go to my computer go to C program files and find Q animator in the exact designated folder and all your animations will end up being I have a few but I moved them to a different folder so um, see Q animator right and then each one of these is a AVM file okay go ahead and copy paste and then go and name this file rename it tutorial 
or whatever the name is, dot B B H. Otherwise, Second Life will not acknowledge your your item right here. It will not acknowledge an AVM file. It only acknowledge a BVH file for animations. So when you go to Second Life and you upload this, then you get to go into um, the next step, and I'll show you that at another time. But I want to show you this. It's going to be funny. And then I'm going to click cancel, and then you get to play this if you want to. Okay? Let's go to, trying to remember where to go. Alright, you can click your slider here, slider here. You always start um, at the T pose. I'm using control and alt to move around and pan. Okay? Now, if you want to move your slider, this is what it looks like. Every time you start your second life um, uh, animations with Q Animator, you always start this way. It's kind of annoying when you want to do still poses, but um, in another tutorial, I'll show you how to do still poses. But as you can see, this is how silly it looks. At any time you want to add more steps, you can add as many as you want. You can do as much as 99. Actually, I lied. Ha! Ah. All right, use your um, up button at the bottom right. Go as high as this thing will let you. And I, yeah, it's 60 frames per second. It's sorry, it's 50. I lied. I gotta learn how to read. But anyways, you can add extra steps if you so desired, and go ahead and this makes it even more fluid okay now you can look at this as a male figure so you can see how a male will look like at it okay this is how you can tell male and female go to figure male and go back to the size you can go to let's make them as small as we can make them I think it's 50% because I make kid and kid poses all right now I'm going to zoom in on our little mini man here. Okay. This is a little too small for me. So we'll go back to about 50, 60, yeah. 50%. For like a kid. And then you can move your slider back and see how it looks. See if you go fast, that's what that looks like. If you go slow, that is for one animation. And if that's the end end pose that you want for any of your poses, you can save it. Now, when you first go to this, you can go ahead and add. I'm gonna do my vamp pose, okay? I'm gonna add. Now, I have this at two frames, okay? And I did this on purpose because I just want to um, just basically move. Now I want to undo that edit. Oh, okay, good. So now you can see it looks like a child's in the mommy's butt. Okay? But nevertheless, you can see the size in relation to an adult size. Now click on this one, and I'm going to make it. 50% to represent a child. Actually, we'll go 30% to represent, no, 35, sorry. 35% to represent a child avatar, which in, re in that unrealistic size. All right, we're gonna go, f mm, 60 was perfect, Never mind. why well, I ruined what was. So now you can see the same pose now go to file and go to open. Ah, okay. Go to file and click add. And I'm gonna go to Ah, oh, I don't have it here. Okay. Now right here it says file export for second life. Animation was exported for Second Life as, and it shows you exactly where it's at, .bvh. But see, I already saved it as a .bvh file in 
in the Q animator. But sometimes you have to go back and check. Let's click OK, get Q animator, click refresh and find view, arrange icons by modified. And here is the original one, silly pose for second life dot bvh. And this is the one that I had named right here. And then over here is this one right here. Okay. See, when you go into Second Life and you upload your animation, you're going to have to set in the priority. Okay, priority one is the lowest priority, which doesn't override much. Two, and then three, and then four is the highest priority, but there's also a priority five. And that is the one where your avatar just stays that way, and it overrides any AOs, any, um, any HUDs, any... Um, weaponry, anything like that that controls your avatar in any way. And this is what also RLV um, poses and scripts are, are, are um, priority five, four and five. So I'm going to click here. just want to show you what's going on here. So you can see the relation. Click on one, see how it moves. The other one stays the same. This is my other, and they're moving at the same time relatively. So you can have five, six of them at the same time and keep adding them, and you can see how they go. It's two at the time. I'm going to change it to female, kind of represent a mommy and a, and a daughter. Because I have so many daughters and grandchildren, it's unreal. <laughs> Alright, you can always go here to this props tab at the top and click on. You can just present a chair, um, something to sit or something to hold. Say for example, you want to have a, a, an animation where it looks like the hands are out, like they're holding something. We well, can use any one of these to hold. Okay, I'll show you. Click on the up. It will illuminate red. Click the up and you see them. Click on each shape and you click them. See, one can be a representation of a seat. One can be a representation of a ball. One can be a representation of anything that you feel like your avatar's hands or bodies needs to be um, be around for this particular animation. Well, I hope this helps. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll upload these to Second Life in a different tutorial. Have a great day.